Good afternoon, I'm Wayne the Train coming to you with videos to enhance your life. Well, today's video is by request. I'm going to teach you how to use this Panasonic radio. Now, after doing these videos, I totally understand why they needed help. This radio is so complex, so convoluted, and the instructions aren't any better, I can see why people find it difficult to know how to use this radio. And my researchers told me that this particular radio was a prize in one of those uh, hospital lotteries, maybe more than one, who knows. So there's a lot of people with this radio and they probably don't even know how to use it. All right, so that's what I'm gonna do for you today. Now, I'm gonna put the description, the menu in a description so you can jump to whatever you are interested in. Okay, so let us begin. Stay tuned for that. Before we begin, it's important that I tell you about this button here, the adjust clock slash alarm button. Trust me, it'll make things easier down the line. First, if you press it once, you'll see the word off. You'll get either on or off. That refers to the daylight savings time feature, and I'll explain that later. If you press it a second time, the clock will come up. That'll allow you to change or update the time. If you press it a third time, you'll get the alarm. There are three alarms on this clock and there's alarm one if you press it again it's alarm two if you press it again alarm three and if you press it yet again it goes back to where it started in other words it cycles through if you keep on pressing that button this adjust button you'll get back to where you were eventually okay this is how to use the daylight savings time feature first note the time it's 10 o'clock well 10 05 but note the 10. When you press this adjust button once, you'll see the word off. These arrow keys toggle it off, on, off, on. And when it's on and you want to lock it in, if you notice, the time has gone ahead one hour. This is for the daylight savings time when you spring forward and fall back. Here, let me do it again. It's 11 o'clock right now, 11.05. Press the button. It's on. If I press any of these arrow keys, it's off and I'll lock it in, and it's gone back an hour. So it's just an easy way for you to adjust for daylight savings time. And if you notice, that sun icon is gone. That, here, let me show you. See that sun icon? If you put it on, it tells you daylight savings time is on. So that's how that works. How to set the time. So in order to change the time, let's say it's 11.18 right now and it's wrong, what you do is you have to press the adjust clock alarm button twice. Once, twice, and then you have 10 seconds. 10 seconds to use these arrow keys to change the time to what you want, okay? That's down, this is up. Let's say it's 11.20. When you're happy with that time, 11.20, you press this adjust button one more time, listen for the beep, and that locks it in. Now, one of the reasons that people are so frustrated is they didn't know about the 10 second rule. So what they did was they pressed this button twice and they're following along, reading the instructions, la la la, and they're reading it and they press the button and they're trying to change the time. Meanwhile, the 10 seconds are like counting down and they go to press these buttons and nothing happens, okay? So like I'm gonna press it, look, see I'm pressing the buttons, the 10 seconds elapsed and nothing happens. So make sure that doesn't happen to you, all right? So if you want to change the time, press this twice, once, twice. Use these buttons up and down within 10 seconds. Done. This is how to use the automatic radio presets. This is where you have the radio, program the radio stations in for you automatically so you don't have to do them manually. But I will teach you that in a moment. So it's really easy. All you gotta do is press one button. You gotta long hold the tuner button. Now you gotta make sure the radio is on before you do that. So I'm gonna turn it on. Now the volume is down so I can talk to you, but you can see it's on. Now all you gotta do in order to pro automatically program the stations is long hold this tuner button. So I long hold it and there it goes. You can see it working. One is done. It's still looking for stations. Two is done, three is now working on it. Look at it go. 
the radio is now pre-programming all the stations for you. But I do want to point out another thing, and that is the maximum of 20 stations. All right, On FM, on AM, you only have a maximum of 12. So when this gets to 20 stations, see, it's already done already. Now, you use these keys to go to your uh, presets. So this is you know, going backwards. This is going 1, 2, 3. Now, what I want to do is I want to get to 20, the maximum. And my point is, look, it's 98.7. I'll turn it off so I can talk to you. 98.7 is the latest, the last station. So that means I don't get other stations like Chum FM, 104.5, or Q107, 107.1, because that stops at 98 something, 98.7. So just keep that in mind when you use the auto presets. But if you'd rather program your radio stations by yourself manually, stay tuned for the next lesson. Okay, this is how to use the manual presets. This is where you manually put in the stations that you want, and you can jump to the, your favorite radio station just by a click of a button. So here we go. The first step is you turn on the radio by pressing the tuner button. Now when the radio is on, step two is to pick your favorite station. Now keep in mind there's three bands. If I press, if you notice there's AM right now, if I press it, there's a weather band. I don't know what that is. It doesn't work for me. It may work for you. Press it again and then there's FM. So let's say, okay, I'm happy. You can use these buttons here to change the radio station, but let's say I'm okay with 98.1 and I want to program that in. Now the next step is to long hold this button, play mode preset, this button here. So you long hold it. And when the memory comes up, that's preset 01. You use these buttons here to pick what memory you want to assign it. Let's say I want number seven. So I want to assign 98.1 to memory seven. When I'm happy with that, I just press this one more time. Listen for the beep. There's a beep and it's locked in. All right. 